Can Sprite succeed in 2024? Let me preface this video by saying, me smooth brain. I love how complex the game mechanics are, even though they seem simple on the surface. And when it comes to actual gameplay, conditions, negated conditions, but if your card acts a certain way, it can loophole around the condition. All right, everybody, we are back at the shop. Can you play sprites in 2024? We'll find out. 44 players today. And goal 40. Alright guys, round one in the bag. We got it 2-0 against a Striker Trickstar player. Um, against the Striker engine, it was a little touch and go, but he made us go first. So I was able to get up a carrot with something to tribute and a SP. So I had a little bit of interaction there. I think that was just enough to get us into the, get us into the next two turns. A little grindy. Ended up mowing him down with my uh, Dark Charmer and Sprite Gamma Burst. Um, he went first, didn't have too crazy of a hand, he needed a few more trick star monsters to really pop off, but luckily we had a little bit more gas. So pretty, pretty explosive when it gets the chance, and the added negates from the adventure engine really help out. So we're going into round two right now, let's see how we do. M. Cole 40. Alright guys, we got game two. Um, it was against a sprite deck. Sprite Melfi, very aggressive, very lean, 40 card deck. I feel a little awkward playing 50 cards today, but it's working out. It's working out. We are two for two, going into going into round three. Uh, honestly, the saving grace was I had D Barrier in game three. So I won game one. He got game two. I had some hand traps. We got a good back and forth going. I think both of our first two rounds only lasted five turns. So Yu-Gi-Oh is a game of speed, you guys. That's why Runix, I just don't feel it right now. I feel aggression. I feel aggressive. I have a lot of unresolved aggression that I want to take out on the Yu-Gi-Oh community. So that's what we're doing today. So aggressive sprites with Dark Hole Dragon works pretty good. But let's see how we do going into round three. See you guys there. All right, guys, we had a great round three against Robbie Cole. That's right, the big M goal 40 was here playing his Runix stun. So he got game one. Sided in a bunch of back row hate, I got game two. Game three, we had a really good grind. We ended up going into time right after my last battle phase. 1,050 life point difference, and he got it. So that is my first loss today. Honestly, a respectable loss against a good control deck. Pretty good match, the deck performed fairly well. Uh, this just proves that the knowledge of chain links can make or break a game. So I activate Lightning Storm. He has nothing on the field, just a bunch of back rows. Summons a Hugin. As the chain resolves backward, Hugin tributes itself to save the rest of the back row. So not a bad sacrifice of one runic spell card. So shout out to Robbie for being pretty darn good tonight. I'm pretty sure he's undefeated now. I was his third win. Let's see if I can get one win and at least go home with some packs. Yeah, that's fine. Bye bye, Pax. <laughs> <sighs> well, guys, we got our second loss today, so we went 2 2 with sprites in 2024. The deck performed as well as it could, but sadly, it wasn't good enough. Well, guys, I think we learned an important lesson here today. Even if you play Sprite really, really well, sometimes it's just not enough. The power gap between decks is just so wide right now that even a great Sprite player just cannot break into those top tables, man. Now, with that in mind, we're going to go home, do some deck testing into something else fun and creative, and then see where we land next week. So, until then, I'll see you guys there, and don't forget to duel on.